Hello guys, hello, hello, hello. Hope everybody's having a super fantastic day. I am having a super fantastic day. Glad you guys are with me. I am traveling abroad, so I haven't had the time to get videos out uh, on my regular schedule. Uh, but hopefully that's okay. Today we are gonna do something fun. Today we are going to look into some storage redstone. And I am going to um, kind of give you a walkthrough of what I think is cool with uh, item storage, um, item sorting, and, and that sort of thing. So uh, without further ado, here's my setup. Uh, most of the time when you lay out your items, you kind of do something like this. Chest with stuff in it, item frame, what have you, that sort of thing. What I got going on over here is just a little push button uh, item retrieval thing. So you push a button and here in a sec the item should come up. And same with all this other stuff. Um, and this is modular so I can add on to this as things go along um, and kind of extend that down. And one of the next things that I'm probably going to do with this is put in um, a way to increase the count. Uh, so maybe 16 or 64 uh, items and what have you, uh, but it's very modular. Like I said, I can extend this down uh, as for as many items as I want, and uh, it all kind of um, just falls into place. Um, so it's not the fastest in the world either, um, but that's just the way I have it set up. Now you can extend this out um, or shrink it up uh, per your design, um, and uh, it will all kind of come into place. Um, like that so um, without further ado let's take a look here's the item sorting um, just put this items in there and they'll be sorted out um, and then over here we have an overflow um, anything that gets that's not in one of these gets put in the overflow chest now my item sorting design uh, is not mine uh, probably any of this is none of this is mine this is all just me um, putting things together but um, impulse S SV did the item sorting with the overflow and I'll put a link to his uh, tutorial on that in my description so let's get it let's get to it all right guys so the first thing that we're gonna look at here is the item sorting so what I have uh, is just the chest on the other side that you put your stuff into comes out of the hopper hits a dispenser and then goes into a water stream hits an item elevator uh, and gets turned up uh, up into the sky here. Now the dispenser is just a, uh, a little timer type of signal, a comparator inverted with another comparator to a redstone repeater. Um, and then you can see the redstone is connected there, comes back down around to this repeater and then connects up to this comparator. Uh, and this signal here, this redstone here uh, gives the signal to the dispenser. So if we were to take something like some stone here um, and put probably five of those in there. You can see that it continually puts that uh, out. Now you gotta be careful here. Water streams aren't um, the easiest thing to do. For some reason I had a lot of trouble with that, um, getting things to fall into place uh, as they did. Uh, either it's going too fast, it gets stuck on the side, but one thing you gotta remember is that the water um, or the item has to come in on the side uh, either side doesn't matter of the fence post to make sure that it gets uh, streamed up into the item uh, conveyor here, water stream. So anyways, the water gets, or the item gets popped up into here, gets thrown down over some ice, down some more streams, into a hopper, which then gets it, uh, and puts it into this kind of holding chest. Uh, into the item sorting system and again this item sorting system is all uh, somebody else's design um, and I'll leave a link to that in the uh, description below um, but it's pretty simple um, just hoppers comparators uh, repeaters redstone torch uh, and I think this design is is um, pretty common for for sorting um, so I won't go into that too much so uh, the kind of meat of the um, item signal uh, piece of it uh, is right here. Um, so basically on the other side of this we have a button 
uh, sends a signal to this redstone, inverts that, turns this redstone signal on, um, and you know I have repeaters here to kind of keep things separated. You definitely don't have to do that depending on how long your system is or how you route things. And this can be routed pretty much universally any way that you want to make it to fit your system. If you had 6, 12, 20 or so lines here stuff, um, you would definitely have to get a little creative in bringing your redstone out so that it uh, all comes down uh, to a central spot. And it doesn't have to be like this. Like I said, it can be any way that you need it to fit your uh, environment. Um, this is just what I did in my creative world. And again, it can be whatever um, it takes. So this one over here, this is a dispenser right here. Um, and this one has redstone in it. And you'll see when you hit that button over there, redstone will come down. Uh, a redstone signal will come down, hit the repeater, hit invert this redstone torch. Uh, giving a signal to the dispenser um, and then shooting in a, uh, the item into um, the, uh, the water stream there. Now the ones on the top are a little bit different um, because of uh, how everything kind of comes together here. Um, I had to bring it up one block and I'm just putting in a redstone signal right on top there. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, not a whole lot to it. Um, and then the, the, the item comes down through the um, through the stream here um, and again you know you gotta you gotta kind of do your water stream what best fits for your area um, I just have this one here going uh, kind of like this uh, so all uh, six uh, uh, water streams come down uh, they hit a sideways stream or lateral stream uh, which comes down hits a half slab uh, so that I can control that a little bit better um, and then comes through here and you can see hits the corner uh, really nicely um, and then gets pushed up unless it gets pushed up like that <laughs> so you just want you know you want to make sure that your item stream um, uh, has a lot of continuity to it which makes it flow uh, kind of on a normal or a normalized basis. Again, overflow stuff comes out here, um, hits this uh, hits this hopper, goes into this dispenser, and again we have an inverted comparator timer. I don't know who designed this or whatever, but um, inverted comparator with a comparator to a repeater, um, uh, to redstone, uh, into another repeater, uh, which hits that comparator, and uh, and this signal here uh, pulses as it goes along and uh, and just puts a water stream into that hopper or puts the overflow items into that hopper which you can then get uh, on the other side like that. so say we want some ender pearls and now ender pearls should be flowing out of our system and there they are okay guys here we are on the setup of this uh, real quick now the first part is uh, to find your spot um, and again, your mileage may vary on how long or where this is going to lay out, but essentially it can shrink up or extend any shape or for, form or fashion to fit your design. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is on our wall, we're going to put a button with an item frame in the item that we want in there. We're going to come out with a repeater and a redstone signal, redstone dust all the way down. And this one uh, is going to be slotted in with a redstone torch. Now when we come down here and push the button, you can see the redstone torch gets inverted, which puts a signal into this dispenser. So if we put stone in here, you should see when we hit this, some stone gets pushed out. So we dug a little trench underneath here, and what we're going to do is we're going to come down here with um, uh, just one more layer so now I'm one two three layers down here I'm gonna grab some packed ice or compressed ice just because it flows better um, items flow better in a water stream so we throw a water stream down and this will come out a few blocks and what we want to do is we want to slab this off there and we want to throw another water bucket down here. 
Now, this being the end where we want things to pop up at, actually we'll want them to pop up right here. We'll want to go in one and leave dirt here and get our fences um, like such. And you can see that that one connects out to the other side. And the cool thing is, is that glowstone uh, doesn't connect to fences. So we can put a fence up just like that. Um, and uh, what happens is when a item falls in there, um, it will slide on through and uh, go to the nearest air block. Um, which uh, in our case is right where we want it to be. You want to be really, be really careful on how you do this string because um, you need your you need your water to kind of come in at an angle. So what a lot of people do, and and me as well, is I'll I'll block this off, you know, kind of back in this area. And then I'll put in um, just a breaker block right here to get the stream coming at an angle. So the water stream comes down through here. If we just do a quick test, you can see they hit this breaker, spin around the, the, the breaker, um, and go right into the uh, item stream. So or item elevator. So if we come up here, you will see um, that there they are. So if we were to put a, say, a hopper on top of here of some sort, of some sort, I guess there's only one sort. <laughs> for example, and a chest, for example, Okay, and if we were to get our ender pearls, like this, slot those in there. And give it a spin. We should definitely see some ender pearls being shot out here in a second. And there we go. And that's your item sorting system or item retrieval system and IRS <laughs> this is your IRS and again you can slot this up uh, many different ways it's very modular you set these right in a row if you want um, to go out and through to whatever kind of system or whatever kind of build uh, that you want um, but this was just mine this is what worked for me um, and again, your mileage will vary on what it is that yours looks like and how you put it all together uh, in the final um, thing. Guys, that is the item retrieval system and the item sorting system. I'll definitely leave a link to Impulse's video in the down uh, comments down there. Um, please feel free to leave a like, mash that subscribe to button if you feel like you want to see uh, some more redstone stuff. Um, thanks again for watching. Uh, any questions, I'm happy to answer uh, that I can help anybody out uh, as we need be. But again, uh, leave a like and a subscribe, and we will talk to you soon. This has been out.